we've gone for like a little bit of time without catching any fish or any hookups. So there's still no sur uh, surface activity. So what we need to do is perhaps um, alter our retrieve method. I've got a woolly bugger. So if I strip very fast, that might perhaps create something where the fish, there's a bit of urgency to get it. Um, so you can just strip in, in faster strips of maybe 30 centimetres. If nothing's happening then, a few other casts, you might do a figure eight retrieve which is just really just bunching the line up in there and it just gets it pulsing at different um, speeds and you'll find one that's going to work at th this time and then uh, you get a few fish and maintain that until you need to change it. Just worth trying different things until something works. Always that last one, just raise your rod just to bring that fly up right into the surface because quite often you'll get a, a fish will follow it the whole way and just lunge at it just before it gets out of the water. There we go. And uh, that was just a long strip that, that uh, obviously there was enough movement in that fly to get the fish to take it. Again, just with all those reeds, if you can try and keep as high as you can, you can just perhaps sometimes stop the fish from uh, tying a little knot through there, getting back into clear water. Let's bring him over there to, uh, to net him. That's good. Well done. Perfect netting too. You just wait till the fish has sort of calmed down a little bit on the surface, slide the net underneath and uh, yeah, it's a good chance you'll just sit in there nicely. Lovely fish of a good couple of pounds. Again, just these rainbows, just lovely red stripes out of here, just in perfect condition. So we'll put him back to grow again. So just vary your retrieve and that can sometimes be the difference between catching a fish and not. The insect life that our waterways support are a valuable source of food for all animals in and around the water. Here a dragonfly struggling on the surface of the water falls victim to a passing swallow. Again, it comes back to observation, and keeping an eye on the birds around the lake can help you establish the presence and nature of the food available. Stu spotted a fish feeding in the shallow water of a small bay and did his best to get his emerging mayfly pattern in front of it. The fish spots the fly and makes a beeline for it, only to balk at the final moment, seemingly rejecting the fly. Although after the initial rejection, the fish returns only seconds later and we see a classic dry fly take.
That went pretty well. Yeah, that was yeah. a fantastic fish actually. Saw him rise and took the fly. He missed it the first time and then the second time came back and hit it and pulled him in. Stuart, at the ripe old age of 16 years, is already a fishing fanatic and enjoys fishing in all its forms. And it has to be said he's got a pretty good gig, working in a fishing shop and being dragged down to Tasmania for work experience. We virtually just used three flies throughout the day uh, and that provided all the success. The first one was, is like a, a mayfly emerger, has a parachute hackle, and that will sit like uh, the dun on top of the surface or a nymph trying to get through the surface. Um, if they're rising, that's always a good choice. I personally used um, the woolly buggers throughout most of the day. Uh, there's some areas down here, there's a lot of wood and timber, which lately has had a lot of um, mud eyes coming through and hatching and turning into your, your, your damsels and things like that. So I, I stuck with these and they proved to um, be invaluable and uh, really tempted a lot of fish into to taking them. Well, we've had a great day on Currawong Lakes uh, with Rog. If you come across, certainly um, speak to us or speak to Roger if you want to improve your fly fishing, you know, and he can take you to bring in places like this as well. So uh, thanks very much. We had a, a great day today and uh, hopefully we can get some, some more fish out of Gave it. Gabe, so it's my great. pleasure. Good. It's been good fun. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today at Currawong Lakes, an outstanding fishery in the East Highlands of Tasmania uh, with some great browns and rainbows. Really shows you what you can achieve, you know, spending some time at a fishery like this. So we'll show you a little bit more next week and I hope you enjoy it.